the 11 years that I've had her have been the most incredible 11 years and <laughs> please keep that in the show. <laughs> I'm Emmy Raver Lampman. I am an actor, performer, and this is Luna. Government name is Luna Lovegood Raver Lampman. Harry Potter fans in this house. Luna is a spring chicken. She is serving you 11 years. She just turned 11, like last week. Luna came into my life when I was a very young, young adult living in the wild streets of New York City. I was on the first national Broadway tour of Hair. I really wanted a Frenchie, I wanted a good apartment dog, and also one that wouldn't get too big so I could travel with her as well. And I was like, you know what, we're here for three months and she'll be a puppy, even if we go back out on the road, she can sit on my lap. And so I found this breeder based out of Staten Island. Hey. There was like a, a little playpen full of English Bulldogs and Luna. <laughs> and I was like, well, clearly it's her. <laughs> the runt, the last one. For the next several months, I like snuck her into the theater. And so she was like the theater dog for a while. Just a little puppy running around backstage. And here she is, 11 years later. That summer, I was rereading all the Harry Potter books. And I like reconnected with my love for Luna Lovegood. I think she's the best witch. She's like the hippie witch. And I'm obsessed with that. Oh God, this dog. <laughs> Hufflepuff, 100%, with like a teaspoon amount of Slytherin. It's very rare that I actually call her Luna. I call her Stinky because... So I call her the Stinkers, a Stinky. Okay, if Luna was in the Umbrella Academy, her power would be that she could clear a room with her fragrance. There's nothing fragrant about it. I've been serving very strong Virgo energy my whole life, so I think my parents knew I was gonna be a responsible dog owner. I say that she's my ride or die. This is actually the longest relationship I've ever been in, <laughs> is me and this cuddle puddle. The best part of having this little creature is that the past 11 years have been insane in the best way. Like we've been on this journey together for so long. I look at her and I see that journey. Um, oh, yo. Hi, I'm Emmy River Lampman, and this is Would You Rather. I would rather be a van life dog, but I feel like I am a van life dog. <laughs> I would rather be able to read Luna's mind. What if she hates me? Oh God. <laughs> I think I would keep Allison's power from Umbrella Academy. I believe hers is the best power and the most powerful of the powers of the siblings, so I think I think a lot of good can be done with that. So this is Luna's eating arrangement, her water and her bowl. Luna has a um, sensitive stomach, <laughs> so she really can only have food that is lamb-based. Chicken, fish, beef, all of those are a no. Yeah, so that's just lamb, only lamb. And then all her treats are peanut butter. Peanut butter or sweet potato, which are really hard to find. She's not really a toy kind of gal, but this, the only toy that she really loves. I've had to buy about 15 of these. It's a stingray. Immediately, anytime anything has a squeaker in it, she punctures the squeaker within three minutes with her canine. But this has the crinkle paper, and that is hours of enjoyment. Dental health is very important for humans and canines alike. Brush up, kids. This is where a lot of the Netflixing and chilling happens, but also a lot of basketball. This couch can fit so many people. We do have a very strict no dog on the couch unless you've been invited rule. Frenchies, if you don't know this, are incredible shedders. So I trained her to not, you know, jump up on the couch unless she's been invited. This is her happy place because she's allowed on the couch right now. But I will say, she very rarely leaves her princess palace. <laughs> Welcome to Luna's princess palace. This bed was a joke and somehow has been in this house for four years and she's obsessed with it. It's her favorite place because it feels like it's, she's the princess in the pea.
Now Luna and I will do tricks for charity. Luna and I will be donating to Wagmore, which is an LA-based rescue organization. Can you do down? Roll over. Oh, that was a good girl. Don't joke. Up. <laughs> yes! High five, Miss Thing! Bing bing! She's never done all of them that well. Maybe ever. Thank you, Pet Collective, for spending the day with us. I hope you... I think she just farted. Oh my God. I think that means it's time to go. But thank you for coming by. We had a blast and I'll see you on the medias.